Air Candy with Renetta Romain on Hip Hip Hop Hip-hop Nation. Nation. The big question that everyone wants to know, what's next for you? What's next for the clips? Are you guys broken up? Uh, has hip hop shied away from you since Christ entered your life? I mean, not with all these Jesus pieces around everybody's neck. I would hope that they wouldn't shy that away, mean the thing, though. you know, from me. You, you could know, rock I a didn't, Jesus piece I didn't, and still I didn't, be in the dark. I didn't, I didn't, yeah, I did that. I definitely did that. Okay. But I didn't, I didn't spend 30 on my Jesus piece just because I didn't believe in them. You know what I'm saying? So. Right. Nah, but, but hip hop and, and my fans definitely have been supporting me, riding with me. And I'm, I'm hearing their voices and a, a lot of them are starting to reevaluate a few things. And, you know, and this isn't, I, I love hip hop. I love hip hop music you know I, I stated that in the interview that I was just on with CBN and um you know I think hip-hop is a good thing and, and it keeps you know dreams alive so I definitely say reach for your goals and take care of your families the big question that everyone wants to know mm-hmm. um what's next for you what's next for the clips are you guys broken up uh nah, nah, is there nah, gonna be another album we're, you know we're, we're definitely gonna give you another album definitely going to give you another album and, and it's going to be very interesting so y'all make sure y'all check for that as well now i know you're going to give me more than just that what do you mean okay and check it check it also yo i really want to promote this book wretched pitiful poor blind and naked you can go to amazon get it go to my website made my life and get that joint shout out to dante lewis that's my man who you know he's been helping me in engineering the sounds we've been in that studio for like six in the morning six at night every day for the past six months on this joint so it's really all of that y'all should definitely check it out and like i said also check out those video blogs and uh re-up gang clips forever and we definitely got something in store for y'all sometimes it is tough listening to some of the music you know when you do believe in god and christ so right. How do you manage that? How do you? Because I know we have a lot of people who love hip hop culture. I don't know. They may work in the business in some capacity. Right. So how do you deal with those things that well, that struggle? You know, it, I, I try not to let it be too much of a struggle because, you know, everything that I listen to now or, or that I, I witness, that I see, that I hear on the radio, I, I'm familiar with that. You know, I can't act now like I, I'm, I'm not familiar with it. I'm very familiar with it and even understand the mindset. But okay. that's, the, that's, that's the advantage that I have. I understand the natural man, but I also understand the spiritual man. Okay. You know, and I can look at people and I can tell, hey, I, I remember when I was right there. I get that. I know what I was thinking. So you're not like, you're not religious all of a sudden. It's, it's because, you know, you have some yeah. people when they find yeah. God, they turn religious. They're like, oh, no, hey, 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 I don't do that no more. I don't do this. I don't do that. Listen, listen no, no. And, and I think that's that's my gift. Um, you know, I've been given a platform where, where I can still where I'm still relatable. Okay. You know, to people and, uh, and and people have heard four albums, including exclusive audio footage. And, and people have known me for 12 years or better. So they know what I'm about, what I've been through. Right. And, and if you believe me, then then, you know, you, you know, that brother still, you know, that, you know, my intellect, you know, where I come from. Yes. And, and nobody does this just for fun. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know what it was going to do to me financially, how it was going to affect my money, what right. it was going to do, you know, with to my relationships with people. And it, this was something I definitely had to do. So, you know. You and your brother are still considered to be um, the dopest MCs, uh, one of the dopest MCs in uh, hip hop. You were, you did a verse on Mary Mary's uh, God and Me. Right, right. So you showed that you can still... Um, make inspirational music is that something that um, we can expect from you as well as your brother is he interested in in doing some stuff like that too listen Pusha is really really doing his thing he's all over the place you know um, I'm loving everything that that he has going on like I said we definitely support each other Uh, as far as my music my my mixtape that I'm working on now is entitled Hear Ye Him because I definitely have a lot of stuff to say and uh you know, it's not too too different from from the music that that I made. As far as I always left you with some kind of food for thought. I always made a reference to my faith, and and this time I'm just going all the way in with it. Uh, it's the artist soon to be formally known as. You know, they used to call me on the road. What? <laughs> they used to call me Aaron Three Thousand. 
Aaron 3000? Yeah, one? yeah. Aaron Hall. You know, the nasty oh, man. Oh, Nasty man. You they used, used to, to be nasty like They that? used to call me Aaron 3000. Everybody had nicknames on the tour but bus. You but you were nasty it, like it, that? And listen, listen, listen. And I, I didn't give myself <laughs> that name. You're trying to shy away from That's the question. It. No, I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you. I'm being open and honest. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't dare call me that now. So I just say that to say to show you how a person can grow and do a little bit better than before.